Hey there everybody. So this weekend I took this Detroit Sparrow on a 100 mile ride over here in Florida. Everything went fine on the ride, but during the ride I started getting a clunking and just a lot of clicking sounds from what I think is the bottom bracket area. I don't really know that for sure, but that's what it seemed like. And it was so loud in fact that I believe people from outside the bike could even hear me clunking and clicking down the road. So Today I'm going to take it apart, at least I'm going to try to, and see what's going on with this thing. Now I can't really feel any play or movement when I move the, when I kind of, well maybe I can actually, now that I, when I say that, I think maybe I, I'm not sure. So let's first try to get this chain off of the, I'm kind of surprised to be having this problem already because this bike isn't that old. I think, uh, I think I got it in 2019. Or maybe it's not even the bottom bracket, maybe it's actually just the cranks connected, where they're connected to the bottom bracket. Could be that too. Now this bike has always had a little bit of a sound even when I first got it, but it was really just the chain, I believe, touching this chain guard. So nothing to worry about, but now it's definitely something else. While I have this off, it'll give me a good chance to clean any grease off of it. Doesn't look too bad, actually. I think what I'm going to do is actually just grease this back up and put it back together and make sure it's nice and tight. That's the easiest thing to do and go for a ride and see what happens. Lysol all-purpose cleaner. Seems to work okay. As you can see, I'm not in a normal garage. We're kind of in between houses at the moment. And it's also why I don't have any rags. And I'm also worried I may not have any grease either. I mean, I, I have some, just not here at this house. Okay, so crank hooks a lot better. My multi-purpose, on the other hand, does not. I'm gonna have to clean that up before bringing it in the house. Let's go to the auto parts store and get some grease. All right, we're back from the auto parts store. That was about $7.50, more than I would have liked it to be, but um, what are you gonna do? I need it now, so I don't need it now. I want it now. Anyway, while I have this apart, I thought it'd be a good time to measure the bottom bracket. That way, in case I have to replace it, I'll easily know which size to get. It's 110 millimeters outside to outside, exactly. Also measure the bottom bracket itself. This is actually the bottom bracket. The other is the uh, bottom bracket bearings. Spindle. Looks like it's uh, 68, I believe. So uh, I think that's all the information I'll really need. It's a 110 with a 68 shell. Just going to try to kind of clean this whole area best I can with a couple, a couple paper towels anyway. Tub of grease. It's kind of annoying because I probably bought like three of these and never finished one of them because every time I lose the other or I move or something, it's not something to be proud of, I guess. I don't know. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will in the comments, but I just grab whatever automotive grease I can and I've never really had a problem with, with any of it. Let me know what's the best though. I should probably look that up on YouTube even. Uh, high temp disc brake wheel bearing. Okay, so it's for it's for wheel bearings, I guess. Really, I really don't want this to make a bunch of noise, so I'm kind of packing it on. There we go. That looks good to me. 
I didn't even use any, I just used the stuff on the lid. All right, let's go ahead and put these cranks back on. Just the same way you took them off, pretty much. Oh wow, did you see that movement right there? Oh wait, look at that. What is that movement? You guys see that? That's it. That's that's my thing. See that? It's moving. Alright, check this out. See that? See see the movement between this and this? Yeah. That's not good. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I can see the entire bearing moving. Maybe this just needs to be tightened down. All right, let's take the crank back off. I hope I have that type of tool with me. Okay, I'm back and it's the next day. And I did go ahead and grab the, the right tool. I happen to have one, luckily. It's a uh, Bike Hand YC26BB. And uh, to tell you the truth, I already did stick this on and I was shocked to see what I found. The entire bottom bracket is loose. And it's not just this side, both sides. So I'm going to try to tighten these down and uh, see if that helps the problem overall. All right, that's pretty snug. Let's go ahead and do this side. Oh, I see. So I wasn't really sure how that worked, but when I tightened that one, it, it seems to have pulled and tightened this one too somehow. Now that's tight. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that crank back on and see if that got rid of the movement. Okay, that's much better. Now I'm not feeling any movement or any play at all. Much, much better. All right, that ought to be good. Feels very solid now, so let's go ahead and put the chain back on. All right, let's uh, go for a quick ride and see if that solved the problem. that does seem to be working so I'll let you guys know in the description if a problem comes up but I think we're good thanks everybody for watching bye